what Airbnb has done over the, especially the past three, four years, is they've, they've shown that they are very pro-guest. And I think that comes at the expense of protecting the, the host, the property manager, the homeowner. Um, I think that's backwards. There are, there's finite supply. There are only so many homeowners who are comfortable renting their home or even have a home and then are comfortable renting it. And I think they need to be treated with as much respect as possible because if the supply goes away, especially the high quality supply, the aspirational home that people want to visit or the aspirational hospitality experience that people want, if that goes away, well, there is no marketplace. The demand, the guest demand is irrelevant if you don't have high quality supply that the you know, guests are asking for. And so like, what we try to do is we're as host friendly as possible. We started safely because we saw homeowners leave their home empty because they didn't want internet strangers coming into their house. So we um, we figured out we have to answer two questions that the, that every homeowner has when they think about renting. First, who's staying in my house? And second, what happens when something goes wrong? If we can answer those two questions, a homeowner is now going to be more comfortable. A host will be more comfortable renting online, joining Airbnb, joining Verbo, joining Booking.com. And so that's what we had to solve. But but it was really because there's a void of host-friendly policies. And we think the host, the property manager, the homeowner needs more protection than they're getting um, from the online booking sites.